we absolutely have to reoptimize these because our values are all over the place. These are not going to be right. So what I'm going to do is pop back into my options. I'm going to go to my show NA tables. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, go and linearize some of this. I'm going to highlight this whole row here, um, looking at my values. So I'm just kind of picking points in my data points. So when I'm looking, I'm at 13 and I'm at 14 here. If I do control P, it's going to just essentially just do a, a straight line through these. We can see that the, the ignition timing became a straight line. And that's going to go ahead and allow me to very quickly smooth these tables out. So I'm going to go 17 to 17 and a half, 21 to approximately 24. And then what I'm going to do is highlight the table here, kind of go in the first quarter of the table maybe, control P. It's going to help me start to linearize the table here. It looks nice and smooth. Do that same thing. I'm going to go to control down. I'm going to go maybe the other two, uh, middle of the table or the two thirds of the table. And then finally, I'm going to go to the very last of the table here, control P. And now we've built that table out. So what I'm going to do now is go into my options here, show three bar tables. Now we can see that we have a big jump in our tables and our ignition timing. So we're going to have to fix this. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste my zero PSI column here. I'm going to copy it, go into my last load column here. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm just going to go and highlight all of this area between zero and 27.6 uh, PSI. I'm going to hit control P. That's going to linearize all of this. And then what I'm going to do is go into my online, or my edit, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to go into create boost tables. I'm going to go into this ignition tables. I'm going to go and create my retard my ignition for one PSI per pound of boost. And that's going to go ahead and generate a quick uh, map here for this ignition timer. It's going to go create the, the, the portion that I'm looking at here. So I'm going to click OK. And we can see that now we have a nice linear map and it's all ready to go. So what my next process is here is going to be is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go up to my 10 degree. I'm going to paste. 